Hello, my name is Mod Ash. I'm a violinist, occasional composer of music, and a big fan of a game called RuneScape. You might hear some of the RuneScape songs I wrote throughout this video. Anyway, I am currently the product manager on Old School RuneScape, where I've been working mostly as a principal developer since Old School came out in 2013, and I'll be hosting today's episode of the Community Channel. Pures will soon be able to go back to Ape at all. They won't need to go through Dyro's training and get Defense XP to access the island. This means they'll be able to chin and burst in the tunnels, complete clue scroll steps on the island, and even complete Monkey Badness too. However, Adamant Gloves from the rest Recipe for Disaster Quest currently have a hard requirement of 13 defense. In addition to that, any player who wishes to equip the Heavy Ballista will have to complete Dyro's training. This puts the minimum defense threshold for that weapon at 33. But a very important change is definitely the fact that Pures can train in the Monkey Madness 2 tunnels. This may change the way many players build up their accounts, assuming they are motivated enough to get the quest requirements. Foe is on his Fresh Start World account when he lets the Dorok brother have a chance. What the f bro? <laughs> Meanwhile, Dino is deep in the Revenant Caves when he rolls heavy damage into his opponent. Sit. 31 what? That could be a juicy loot as well. Oh, what does that say? Subscribe to the community channel? Yes, perhaps you should do that for some good RNG. Oh, finally! 128 million GP for the dinosaur. Listen, I feel very confident now in doing this. Oh, okay, fuck. <laughs> never mind, never mind, never mind. The donator and this anti pk are going head to head. Our friend here is completely out of supplies. He's baiting a half spec. God. Oh my fucking god, bro. Oh my fucking god, bro. I'm shitting, bro, 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 bro. The, the, the 35 mil. Yes! Dude, that's so fucking nuts. Four, four, one, scold mace. Four, four, one isn't a world. Was it, was it, was it an elaborate bait? It's a fresh start world. I'm gonna unleash my anger on Yinny. I'm sorry. Sid proves all the luck he's had on this account wasn't because of his hardcore status. Even as a regular Iron Man, the drops keep coming. Congratulations! No fucking way, dude! Gurge gets a little caught by surprise. Bro, who the f is this? Bro, I didn't have my fucking protection prayers. Oh my god! What the f? In a recent episode, we saw Soy Duro get a scythe and pet in the same raid. Not only that, but it was on his 8th kill count on his Hardcore Iron Man. That's lucky. Now he's after some other items. Oh, I got a purple! <laughs> let's go! It will it be the Avernic, let's... I pray. Oh my god, I got the Sang! The Sang staff as well! Lucky man! <laughs> For our community spotlight feature today, we have five partnered streamers that usually play Path of Exile come to RuneScape. They are all playing together as group hardcore Iron Men. Wherever their adventure may take them, we welcome them to the RuneScape community, and it'll be interesting to see how far they can get with their remaining lives. There is one uh, mob in early game though. Uh, there's like a special uh, goblin called the Mind Goblin. The Mind Goblin? Yeah, do you mind gobbling these nuts? <laughs> Dude. Did what? Did what the f? Yeah, I already have the needle. So that's all I need. Oh my, dude, you should be banned for that. When old school first came out, we held an annual clan cup, a competition that brought clans together to battle against one another in a series of challenges. In a PVM challenge. Clans would try to defeat the strongest bosses that existed at the time. The players that participated in the Clan Cup still have permissions to enter the arena. We never had a pressing reason to stop them. So Cider and team are attempting to take on multiple bosses at once in there. It's nice seeing people still engage with that content. Wait, if Kree's chasing after you- oh. That said, 
If we were doing it these days, we'd probably do things a bit differently. For a start, we've got more artists, so we'd have a nicer looking arena, and it wouldn't have to be written almost entirely in the middle of the night by me on my own, up against a rather tight deadline with no assets. Lake recently finished the Tombs of Mascot on his Iron Man, and now he is raiding on his hardcore. Please, it's game changing. Please. Please, please, please. Bank? It's so good. It's so good! I'm so happy. This is your reminder to submit anything you find interesting in the world of RuneScape to runescapesubmissions at gmail.com and you just might be featured on the community channel. Dino is living up to his name. He's channeling the prehistoric sounds from his ancestors. Okay, let's see if that helps him secure the kill. Someone's giving me a rune for Helm, I will literally be your Discord kitten. Sid's luck just cannot be stopped. I mean, that's less... That's less annoying, right? Yeah. No fucking Dude! Are you serious? Osku is out in the Revenant Caves when he goes hand to hand against this voider. The Osku comes out on top with a fantastic combo. Will we get 10 rings in a row? Or will we finally break the ring streak? Mutz recently got his 10th Lightbearer ring from the Tombs of Ramascot. Unlucky. But now he's got another purple and is holding on to some hope. Will we break it? Or will we get 10 in a row? There is no way. Dino considers if he should redeem his daily Mage Cape Spellbook swap to kill his opponent. Chat, is this a Mage Cape angle? It's a KO angle instead. <laughs> With a staff bash, he takes his opponent out of the game. Well, it doesn't matter. He's going to get away. In RuneScape news this week, we'd like to buff the rewards for combat achievements. But first, we'd like to reorganise the combat achievement system. We'd give every combat achievement its own point value, with harder tasks awarding more points. Some of you might choose to complete all the easy tasks, while more experienced players could complete one hard and two medium tasks and get the same reward. Let's talk about those rewards now. The Jagex team are still investigating these options, so please bear in mind that none of the following ideas are final. Currently, when players get a boss slayer task, they can choose how many creatures they will kill on that task. But even Grandmasters could only choose to kill up to 50 of creatures on that task. We'd like to increase that so it scales from 40 to 65 from easy to Grandmaster. Also, we'd like to reduce the kill counts required for God Wars dungeon boss entry. In addition to that, other rewards we propose are increased warrior tokens from the Warriors Guild, additional pest control points per game, immunity to the drain effect in the Barrow's Crypts, a 50% reduction in the cost to imbue items like rings, a 25% higher chance of a superior monster spawning, summoned thralls lasting significantly longer, a blessing that reduces the charges consumed from the scythe and sang by 5%. More feedback is being collected before a poll with these proposed changes will go live, so make sure to provide your feedback through the runescape forums, reddit, or the community-led discord channel. Soup recently released his Gilinor Games trailer. Have a look! Everybody hates me, they want me gone. They're coming, they're coming, they're coming, they're coming. Yes, that's awesome! Nobody believes a word that anybody says. I'm gonna go ahead and just deny any alliance. Hey, baby, let's go! <laughs> Last season, I did lose some friends, and this season, I plan to lose some more.
there's some seriously exciting stuff to come in the RuneScape community for the rest of this year and 2023. This has been Mod Ash hosting the RuneScape Community Channel. If you enjoyed today's episode on the Community Channel, then please like and subscribe, and maybe they'll invite me back someday. If you are interested in staying in touch with the game that we all love, I frequently post about it on my Twitter account, which is linked in the description below. Although most useful information about RuneScape is available on the Old School Wiki, you may see me responding to a few players about lore and how things are programmed, or even reminding them that this is not that kind of fantasy game. Thanks for watching, and I hope to see you in Drainer Village.